of our greatest comedy talents, a total one-off, outrageous and edgy. Just some of the tributes from fellow comedians paid to Freddie Starr, who's died age 76. Starr was born in Highton on Merseyside. From the 1970s to the 1990s, he dominated stage and small screen alike with a style all of his own. But in recent years, his life seemed to spiral downwards, dominated by ill health and negative headlines. He was found dead at his home in Spain. The comic had moved there after being accused of historical sexual abuse. Our entertainment correspondent, Caroline Whitmore, looks back at his life. Twisting the night away. Freddie was the star of many a show over his five decades in showbiz. Man, there ain't nothing like twisting the night away. Is that seat taken? No, not at all. Please sit down. <laughs> I think you should come take the mickey out of me. I'm not taking the mickey out of me. I'm taking the mickey out of me. <laughs> he had a, a unique act. No one could go in and do what Freddie Starr did. He was a one-off. Star by name, star by profession. Well, you've just got that kind of mad look. The mad look? Yeah. I don't think so. No, I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, please don't talk about me. One eye's gone. He first appeared on television at just 15 years old in Violet Playground. I don't know. He then turned his hand to singing and led the Mersey Beat pop group The Midnighters, performing around his birthplace of Liverpool. You could see a different side of him all the time and he started to be the front man, but he was also incredibly zany, more so than anybody I'd ever worked with. Then he did Opportunity Knock. And that was fantastic. The, the, the British public knew he was. It led to an invite to perform on the Royal Variety Show back in 1970. I sat in the audience. Queen Mother was in the box. He came on stage, nobody knew who Freddie Starr was, but my word after that, they certainly did. He was on the front page of every national newspaper. He became a star overnight. He belonged to a group called the Hilda Fallon Roadshow Group. And there was a lot of kids who were all on stage. You know, it was like a stage school thing in Liverpool. And uh, that's where Freddie learned his uh, stagecraft. Even in the presence of the great Muhammad Ali, he somehow managed to dominate the stage. They can fight, and, and haven't he seen these people who've never been in a boxing ring before? He, he's the greatest one, he's the king of all time, he's, he's the greatest of all time. But with fame came notoriety and that headline that would haunt the rest of his life. Freddie Star Ate My Hempster was a publicity thing created by uh, the late Max Clifford publicist. And it did Freddie the world of good. Oh my God, did he really eat the hamster? Of course he didn't. Something he was still being asked about on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here in 2011. So did you actually eat someone's hamster? No, I'm not vegetarian. <laughs> Soon after, he faced historical abuse allegations, which he strongly denied. Never. I never have done, I never would do. He was never prosecuted, but he lost a damages claim against his accuser in the High Court in 2015. He moved to Spain following the ruling, which left him facing a bill estimated at £1 million. It's just something that sticks to you, sticks to your skin, goes through to your bones, gets through to your soul. He had a bit of trauma in his life, which created a, a, a slight stammer. You know, he, he, he wasn't a good deliverer of jokes as such, you know, lines. But what he could do, he had this presence, this body language, this charisma that he had, so much of it. And it was dangerous, and that's what I loved about Freddie. It was sad what happened to Freddie in the end, you know, but uh, for me, he was one of the funniest men I've ever met. And he was a, he was a very complicated person. He was very, very complicated, but very funny. His comic timing was amazing, but if he had one of his depressions on, it was, it was quite hard to work with him. They're maggots. Like... He was unpredictable and frightening as well, because you didn't know how far he'd go. Freddie Starr, who's died aged 76.